sitting, sitting, sitting at the same old workplace. What's the point of this chase? To just bite our own tail. Wishing, wishing, wishing that something would change. That we could turn back the page and live like our favorite fairy tales. These are childhood dreams. It's how we used to be. Before we start, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want more amazing videos like this. So here we are in Filmora and as you can see some animations here, we will talk about these later. First add your music to the timeline, after that go to file, then project settings and change the frame rate to 60 fps. So let's start with writing our lyrics first. And for that, go to Titles tab and bring any title into the timeline. Now double click on your title, go to Advanced option, then type your text, choose your font. And here I am using this script grip font which you can download by the link in the description. Next turn on the shadow options on the left side, then choose a dark color. After that change the blur to 0 and the distance to around 2. Now click on this plus icon here which will add a new shadow layer. Again change the blur to 0 and distance to around 4. Then change the color to something lighter than the previous shadow color. For now don't add any animation or any other text. Go to the main editing window, right click on your title, click on copy. Then just simply paste it multiple times. But let's say if you don't have this plus icon option in your Filmora. Then to add another shadow color, move this current title to the second layer, then right click on it, copy it and paste it into the first layer. After that select the title on the first layer, go to advanced option, disable this text fill option and for now let's assume that it doesn't exist. Then change the color to something lighter. Now click on this icon to lock the second layer so that we don't move it accidentally. Then select the title on the first layer and move it with either your mouse or with arrow keys on your keyboard. Or another simple option is update your Filmora to the latest version. So after writing your first line, we have to listen to the song a couple of times to figure out when precisely a word comes in. When you are done with it, go to animation tab and there are a bunch of animations you can try. But let me show you the one I used. Scroll down and find this grow shrink animation. Double click on it and apply it. We have to listen to every line of the song and change the duration of every title according to it. You can always edit the titles later. At the same old workplace. Now let me show you all the animation I used in my video. One of them is this down up 2. And if you scroll down a bit, there is a up down 2 animation. Let's say if you want every single word comes in with animation, then add another text and just keep this full written text as it is for now. We have to write each word separately, plus keep the position of every word away from complete written text. After that, just blend every word into the complete sentence. Now select the main sentence, change its position and remove the words which we had already written. Again change the position of text as it was before. Now listen to the song again and manage the timing of every single word. At the same same, old, same old work. At the 
After that, select every word one by one and apply the same animation to all of them. At the same old workplace. At the same old workplace. So that's all the technique I used to animate my lyrics. Let's go to the next step. After writing all the lyrics, select all of them and move them to one layer above because it's time to bring our video into the timeline. And here comes the animation I created. You can download them by joining my Patreon or YouTube membership. Link is in the description. So after bringing animation for any of your video to the timeline, you can color grade it as you like. After that, go to effects tab and search for mild effect but if nothing appears, expand this filter category. Then there is a subcategory called shake. You will find this effect here. Download it if it isn't downloaded. Now apply this effect to your video. Then double click on the video. Make sure you are on effects tab. Then disable this RGB separate option. And it's optional to disable motion blur. It's up to you. As you can see in the preview, only video has some shaking but not the lyrics. And for that, add the mild effect above the lyrics. Increase the duration of the effect, then double click on it and change the frequency value to 2. Now the final step is to add elements and I created some elements as well which you can download it for free by the link in the description. Before you bring elements to the timeline, make sure you move the mild effect to or 3 layers above to add some space for elements. Now bring an element into the timeline, double click on it and then in compositing options, change the blending mode from normal to screen. Then just keep adding elements as many as you like and we are finally done. Thank you so much for watching and now I will see you in the next video.